Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Blackbone. Last time, we visited the Forest Naval and got a fair decent amount of ship parts from there. We also discovered a new Pikmin type, which were the Blue Pikmin, which are completely amphibious, and we lost our first Pikmin to getting left behind at the end of the day. I still don't know where that Pikmin was hiding. Ah well, his death was his own fault. Anyways, today, I did say that we were going to go back to the Forest of Hope to get the remaining ship parts. There's still four waiting there for us. However, our blue Pikmin numbers are pretty low, and I could probably raise up a few more reds and yellows as well. So instead, we're going to head back to the impact site, because there is another ship part over there. We just need our blue Pikmin to get it. Ah, the impact site. Oh, such fond memories of this place. Such fond, yet somewhat disturbing memories of how this whole thing started. It was like it was yesterday being here. Alright, well, anyways, let's get all our blue Pikmin out and about. Let's get ourselves... I would say... 40 red Pikmin. And... Oops. Let's get... The remaining just yellows. What? Well, yeah, 30 yellows. Alright, team. Here's the plan. First things first. You, start getting the grass. You, start working on that. Oh, wow, you worked pretty fast on that. Okay, then. Uh, let's get 10 yellows up there. No, don't be falling off now. Okay, I managed to get at least like eight up here. Oh, seven up here. So just need to get three more up there. Let's grab you guys. And let's start just getting these pellets up here so we can raise our numbers. There we go. Now, for the reds... Don't hit the geyser, you idiot. Wow, seriously, there has been nothing there. Kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. Alright, we'll have the reds start working on getting up there. And then we'll have the blues go up there to get their pellets. I'm only gonna mainly just focus on getting the ten pellets up here because that's the only thing really worthwhile to get. In fact, I might just use that... No, you fools! Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good here. Come on, go into the rock. There we go. I'm just gonna have the reds get up there, uh, pull up down that blue pellet, and then we'll just swap it over to the blues to get it. Anyways, uh, while we're doing that, I will have my blue yellows start going to get some bomb rocks. I've made yet another Pikmin related discovery. I just, just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onion stopped expelling seeds, yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area. Honestly, surprised it only took me up till day 5 to get this. I figured I would get it like a day or two sooner. But yeah, you can only have 100 in the field, so definitely figure out what you're going to be uh, doing in terms of Pikmin numbers before you decide to sprout too many. Right, you guys go over here. It's actually good to have a, a hundred in the field. That way you can uh, just store the excess pick you don't have to worry about plucking them. Yeah, they'll still be flowers, but or not flowers, uh, leaves. But you know what? At least it will save you plucking time. Ooh, win me. This is the Iridescent Flint Beetle. It is basically a rare enemy that has a bunch of goodies on it if you can hit Pikmin on top of it. The Pikmin also get easily distracted by it and will constantly try to attack it until, you, well, it goes away. You can get some nectar, you can get some pellets, from, or you can get some pellets from it. Uh, it's just a really useful enemy to just get, like, the, some excess stuff on. Mainly for the nectar, though. Let's get our yellows. Moo! Moo! Any more in this bag? Nope. Box. Meant to say. Alright, our one third of the day is 
done now. Is this... Okay, no. Uh, the impact site's an interesting area because there are actually two rare enemies that can appear here. But it's only on uh, specific days or after a specific day has passed. And unfortunately, they have not shown up for me here yet. I'm gonna break this down. And now, introducing yet another new enemy. Yeah, we've been just running into these guys left, right, and center. These are, quite possibly, the dumbest enemy names in the entire series. The Pearly Clam Clamp. Yes, that is actually their name. Basically, they have a little goodie inside their mouth. No, not you. What you want to do is you want to, uh, well, use your bomb Pikmin to get one out pretty easily. And then we're going to have you guys over here, and you can just carry this pearl back. The pearls are actually worth a lot of Pikmin. I believe these things are, like, worth 25 Pikmin per pearl, so it's really good to get these to up your Pikmin numbers. <laughs> We'll have you over here. You can bomb this wall. I think this actually knocks it down to like two thirds done. Nope. Maybe it actually only takes two bomb rocks to take it over three. Hmm. But I will. While they're working on that, let's get the rest of the battalion up here. And while the Reds can carry back the pellet that's up there, I can. I think there's more than 20 yellows up here that we can use to grab the yellow 20 pellet up here. Oh yeah, this is more than 20 yellows. Okay, maybe not. Come on. Come on. And I think we're just down by one. Please tell me that a yellow fell down here. I, okay, I actually got really lucky with the fact that only one yellow fell down here. And it's the one yellow that I need. Alright, we'll just throw you up there with your brothers. I said we'll throw you up there with your brothers. There we go. And they can start carrying that back. And while they're carrying that back, we'll have the rest of the group go into here. And we'll split you guys up. Have the Reds carry back this 20 pellet. And we shall have the Blues head on out into the water to go get our other missing ship part. As well as possibly the other pearls out inside these clams. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the 20 pellet that's over there, though. I don't think we have enough Blues to do it. But anyways... What you want to do with these is throw the Pikmin onto it. As you can see, when it rears its mouth back, you want to call them off. Otherwise, they are going to get munched. And there is no limit to how many Pikmin this thing can eat. So it's all about the timing, really. And also find that sweet spot for the Pikmin to hit the thing in its mouth before it uh, closes its jaw. Go, 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 go! Okay, that was really close. Usually when you see it uh, starting to struggle to keep its mouth open, that's usually to tell that you want to call your Pikmin back. Like, right there. And one more set of Pikmin should be able to knock that part out. Oh no, oh no, oh no, get out of there! Get out, boys! Come on. Okay, this is starting to get a little ridiculous. Come on, guys. There's only a, a, a few hits left in that thing. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay, thank God he wasn't stuck in his mouth. This is the Positron Generator. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine can generate incredible amounts of electricity. What it what a timely find. Those instant space noodles won't taste will taste better heated up. Now you might be thinking, why would he need this when he's got the fuel dynamo? Oh, Omar likes repetition, that's why. Alright, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother with this. That is just too much of a hassle to deal with. Ooh, we might not have the blue numbers for this. I definitely should start raising my blue numbers up. Yeah, we're going to be coming a little bit close, but I think we can get that piece back before the day is over. And also quite possibly get the uh, 
uh, get the, the 20 pellet that's over there as well. Let's just pull you guys out. Oh wow, you guys actually found some nectar. Nice. That can help flower those blues that, that I was gonna pull out. Alright, get you guys back in your onion. Because I honestly have no more use for the yellows now since the bomb rocks are all used up. And let's just get what blues are in here out. Wow, not a whole lot of you, huh? You guys come with me. Good draw flowers. So I don't have to worry about you lagging behind. Man, I'm not carrying your weight again. Come on, buddy. The only way we're gonna get out of this place is if we work together. Look at these lazy bums. Now, if I am able to break that down, then that will double time the return of our 20 pellet if we can get that uh, get that in time. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the remaining Pikmin that we have, and we're just going to work on taking down that wall. And I'll have the, our blues head on over to the pellet, and they can just start carrying it up. And you guys can help carry that back as well. Yeah, uh, what is it with my flowers tripping over themselves all the time? I swear, you're not helping my case when I say the flowers are the best Pikmin to have. There we go. Alright. Now, I don't really have much use for you guys. Uh, you know what, sure. Here, you carry that back. I'll just have whatever Pikmin uh, get whatever carry back to their respective onions. Positron Generator. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it cautiously, you'll get an electric shock. I have 9 out of 30 parts. I can only find 3 more. should be able to increase the ship's capabilities. So, we should be able to increase the ship's capabilities after we return to the Force of Hope tomorrow. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. Need my blues. My blues and only my blues. Red. Oh my god. Alright, come on, boys. We don't have much time, but I think since we opened up that shortcut, we should be able to get that pellet back to camp just in time. I'm not even going to bother with the other pearly clam clam just because, while yes, that pearl would be very enticing to get. Uh, just getting it is very, very annoying and time-consuming. I think we wasted too much time trying to get the ship part out of that one clam. Come on. Don't be discouraged. You can do it. There. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah. Alright, there he goes. He's carrying his own weight. Uh, we missed the blue back there. And other than just the ones back at camp, nobody is left out in the wild. All right, buddy. Let's throw you onto there. Let's throw you onto there. Now, uh, well, there's kind of a funny thing that, that can happen if you have uh, an even value of Pikmin carrying back uh, item. Is the fact that they actually will fight going back and forth, carrying it to the, the pellet that they want to deposit the pellet in or the creature into. It is kind of funny, but also kind of annoying because it's just like, just make up your mind, guys. Come on. Alright, let's see. Doing pretty good on numbers right now. Honestly, we've done nothing but numbers today. Impact Slay is definitely one of the best areas in the game to just up your Pikmin numbers because there's not really a whole lot in terms of enemies besides the clams and it, the special enemies that might show up in the stump over there. And honestly, guys, what are you doing? Hmm. 
is it stuck in the wall? It's stuck in the wall. Great, way to go, guys. This is what happens when you fight. You get stuff stuck, and then it's hereby unattainable. What am I gonna do with you idiots? Alright, we're not gonna be able to get those Pelopozies up there. Oh, well. At the very least, I would like to just pluck these guys because I don't really see myself ever returning back to the impact site for the rest of our adventure here. 99. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's underground. There we go. All 100 Pikmin. I'm actually really excited to see what kind of numbers we did for today because this has been like one of the most uh, successful days in terms of Pikmin growth. Get a boys. Ah, damn it. It's a good thing that that nectar was inside camp, otherwise we might have just lost a decent number of Pikmin in one of the stupidest I got left behind ways possible. Please don't make a liar out of me, game. Please tell me that those guys were still technically in camp. Okay, thank goodness. Also, even though there were no spotty bulwarbs in the zone, one shows up at the very end because they were like, oh crap, we forgot to add an enemy to kill Pikmin if they get left behind in the field. Five days since impact. I have seen that at times, a leaf atop the Pikmin's head will grow into a bud and then a flower. It appears that if I do not pluck the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating. This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in this natural world. I found the increased swiftness of the flower Pikmin to be a tremendous benefit. Also, my diligent observation has recorded instances in which flower Pikmin lost in battle have left seeds behind. This is why on days after fierce battles, I occasionally find new sprouts growing. So that's actually something I didn't go on about because we really haven't gotten into any fierce battles that haven't resulted in a lot of Pikmin deaths. But if you do lose a flower Pikmin in combat, there is a slim chance that one will sprout in its place in the next day that you can recover. So it's, it's a good way to try and like soften the blow of such massive Pikmin losses you might have. But wow, just look at that yellow just shoot up all the way. And blue, well, I, their numbers could have been better. Eh, 52 is still a decent number, and we'll be definitely making a lot more blue Pikmin in the next day. Anyways, we're done with the impact site, and honestly, I hope I never have to return there ever again, fingers crossed. Next time on Pikmin, we're going to return back to the Force of Hope and hopefully snag the four remaining ship parts over there. And if I play my cards right, we should be able to do knock that on only one day. See you guys next time. Later. Later.